So we've got food expert Nicole Gonzalez here joining us. Thanks so much for being here. Welcome back to the vlog. Matt and I are currently on the road. Matt's driving. <laughs> and we're actually heading to Niagara today, Niagara on the Lake, for a little wine country tour and stuff. Obviously, I'm not drinking the wine. <laughs> I'll be testing all of the water from the different wineries, which I'm very excited about. Uh, we're just going with a couple of friends, uh, just kind of like an end of summer little day trip. I'm really excited. I have been just working a ton this week, definitely feeling the third trimester tiredness. So I feel like this is just a little vacation that I need um, just to just spend some time with friends and just get away from work and enjoy the fresh air and outdoors. So I'm very much looking forward to this. Uh, we left Miss Cashew at home. Chloe's gonna be watching her and we are just heading to go. Oh wow, a lot of traffic. Ooh, can't see. Damn, we did not avoid the traffic. That's a yeah, lot of traffic. Normally we take 407. Yeah. So we're just going to pick up two of our friends um, because they're catching a ride with us. I also grabbed some lunch on the go. I'll show you guys what I got. I just got something really simple from Freshy. And then Matt got a burrito wrap. I got the water. What else do I have here? I got me tea. And I got the snacks. So we are prepared. I also brought my rain jacket because it looks like it could rain. It was a bit overcast this morning, but now it's looking like it's clearing up. Also, man, we killed it this morning. We did a little CrossFit training session today. Honestly, I just, I had a lot of modifications. So I'll insert some of the Insta story. I did like a time lapse, I'll insert that here. Um, but we did that this morning, took Kasha for a little walk. So I feel like we've already done a lot today. Um, so I'm gonna um, eat this and maybe have a little snooze before we actually get to Niagara. I'll see you guys soon. Winery done. First one done. I had. I feel very hydrated from all that water. They wanted to, but oh, oh. 
I actually guess. wasn't wasn't that bad. There's a big seed in it, and it was not what I was expecting. <laughs> Don't pick grapes off the vine. <laughs> no, it was actually now that I'm tasting it, it wasn't bad. It just caught me off guard. <laughs> it was like not a normal grape. I really want to find peaches. There's a ton of peaches like on the side of the road, like peach stands. Dinner was so good. Get the lamb shank. I'm not even a big like lamb or beef eater, but it was so good. Also, I ugly cried over this meme about two dogs. <laughs> I'll insert it here, it's so sad. I've ugly cried over it three times now and it's a little embarrassing, but you'll, you'll understand if you have a dog. I'm gonna go for a little walk and get some coffee and then drive back and I'm probably gonna have a snooze in the car. Welcome back, it is a new day and I actually have been meaning to make some banana bread. I have so many bananas that are super ripe. Uh, we left them here while we went away for the weekend so I wanna make some banana bread. I think I'm actually gonna make two loaves and I also have all of the blueberries that we picked from the blueberry farm that we went to. Let me grab those. We have a ton of blueberries oop, that I need to use up. And I was thinking like of doing a blueberry pie. Um, to be honest, I've just been craving banana bread and because I have the ripe bananas and the blueberries, we're gonna make blueberry banana bread. I think I'm going to just use my tried and true banana bread recipe from the blog. It's honestly so good. Like if you haven't made it before, you definitely need to try it. Um, so I'm just gonna grab all the ingredients that I need and we're gonna make some banana bread, two loaves actually. And we're gonna put all these blueberries in them. All right, so I need three bananas for each. Perfect, we're gonna use all these up. I'll have one more to peel and freeze. vanilla, cinnamon, baking powder, and baking soda. About it. So because I'm gonna double batch this, I'm gonna use my stand mixer. You can just make this in a bowl if you wanna make it really easy or if you don't have a stand mixer. Um, I might actually put a few chocolate chips on the top, but I'm gonna make the base mostly just blueberries. Ugh. I should not be carrying this. Too pregnant. All right, first thing we're gonna do is just mix all of our wet. And I got my, I got my compost here. By the way, I will link this compost down below. We sell it on the Health Nut Shop. It's like one of our top sellers. It's amazing. It sits right on the counter. It doesn't smell. There's a little carbon filter in the lid. And it's good for the environment. Save all your scraps and compost them. This is a lot of bananas. So I'm actually not gonna add any extra sweetener to this because these are big, very ripe bananas. So I think it's gonna be sweet enough. Okay, we're just gonna give those a little mash up first. It's 
So I have all my wet ingredients mixed up and I'm just gonna sift in the dry. So I need two cups of corn flour. And I'm just gonna eyeball the cinnamon. Wait, this is cinnamon, right? Imagine, <laughs> cumin. That would not be tasty. I need to buy some more cinnamon. I'm running low. I think that is everything. You can add hemp hearts to this if you want, but to be honest, a lot of times I just do this as is, and we're just gonna sift. Okay, don't do what I did. I put the almond flour on the bottom, which doesn't sift very well, because this one's really like a small sieve. And I don't have that much room. So, it's good enough. It's sifted. Just if I was you, I would sift everything except for the almond flour, and then just mix the almond flour into the batter. Okay, we're gonna use this attachment, because we don't wanna over mix the batter now. So I just sorted through all of these blueberries and I just picked some out that I'm gonna, and I'm just gonna rinse them off. Look how beautiful those look. Wild organic blueberries. So I'm just gonna add the blueberries right in and we're just gonna do one really quick stir because we don't wanna break up too many of the berries. That's good enough. And then I'll just get in there with the spatula. Look at how good that looks. By the way, this is the tripod I have you guys on right now. Just FYI. All right, we have the blueberries mixed in. I'm just gonna take this out. I need to get a spatula. I got my oven preheating. That's what I like about these stand mixers is that you can just easily double recipes and it's the same amount of effort. I love the stand mixer. I will link it down below. I have the larger one. There's a couple of different sizes. But like, look how good that looks. I'm gonna give it a quick mix through with my spatula and the batter is perfect. All right, so I just lined two loaf pans with some parchment paper. I'm just gonna eyeball this and just divide it between the two. the top I actually have just a little bit of walnuts left over so I'm gonna sprinkle that on top and then I'm gonna add some chocolate chips cuz I just feel like I don't want a ton of chocolate right now but I just want a little bit a little sweetness on top. them in a little bit so they actually melt. Oh, they look so good. All right, I'm gonna set them for 50 minutes. Usually they take about an hour, um, but I'm just gonna start at 50 and then I can check on them because I'd rather check and be sure that they're not overcooked than have like dry banana bread. Also, I think I have a delivery here. So I gotta go, but those are in cooking and I'm just gonna finish cleaning up. Ooh, they look so good. All right, I'm gonna pull them out. Oh yeah. Oh, that rose perfectly. I'm telling you, this is a never fail recipe. It works so good even when you double batch it. 
just gonna get them on a cooling rack. And we're gonna give them a little poke test right in the center. Actually, I feel like they could bake for maybe another five, 10 minutes. They're kind of still soft in the middle, so I'm gonna throw them back in. Oh, it's still very soft. All right, it's still very soft. I need to let it cool, but it smells incredible. Highly recommend adding in the blueberries. All right, the sun is literally setting, so I'm gonna end the vlog, but thank you so much for, do I have blueberries on my face? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Um, I'll link the blueberry, blueberry, or no, it's not blueberry. I'll link the banana bread recipe down below. Um, I will say if you're gonna add blueberries, do less blueberries. I think I added too much, so the moisture content is a bit high. I would probably only add like half a cup of blueberries, not a full cup per loaf, just FYI. But I'll link that recipe down below and I'll just mention my substitutions if you guys wanna remake it and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. It really supports my channel and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye guys.